Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today I am going to be showing you how to successfully pollinate Venus flytrap flowers. So as you can see I've got three beside me that are already opened which are in my bunny bog planter here and these are the ones I'll be doing a demonstration on today. So the Venus flytrap um, will flower in spring, summer, late spring, summer and um, they can be self-pollinated, meaning that you can um, use the pollen from the same flower on the same plant with itself. However, you will not get seeds unless you either help it or insects pollinate it for you. So even though you can get obviously, the seeds from each pod per flower, if you've only got one flytrap you can still get seed. However, they will not produce any seeds unless they are successfully fertilised. So that is what I'll be showing you today. So if I just flip the camera around and I'll show you how to do this successfully. Okay, so as you can see, I have got a uh, one flower stalk here, and currently three flowers are open. So I am, for the purpose of of this video and demonstration, I'm going to be self-pollinating the flowers. So I'm going to be using the pollen off of one of these flowers and putting it on another flower. So from the same plant, um, people obviously recommend that you do it from two separate plants because uh, people have said that it. Um, differs with obviously germination rates you get better germination rates and more seeds if you pollinate from another flower um i've yet to see any difference in that i have done obviously this before got many seeds and just pollinated them as and when i haven't been pollinating them this year um so for this video obviously i'm doing so i will have seeds after this and pollinate a few so i could update you obviously of how to collect seeds afterwards um but yeah, I'll just get straight onto it. So as you can see, you've got the pollen here on the end of the anthers, which is the yellow fuzzy stuff. So they, these are very easy to pollinate flowers because everything's so distinctive. And in the middle of, you've got the pistil here, and in the middle is the stigma. So you need to get the pollen onto the stigma. And you know when the stigma is ready, when it's receptive, and that is when it goes fuzzy. So as you can see from this flower here, it's just straight up with no fluff on the top. And this one here has got a little bit of fluff just on the top here. And that um, is ready to be pollinated. So as you can see, the um, anthers drop a bit to get out of the way. Because obviously they don't really want to be pollinated with themselves. So if I just show you, so you need to get a small paintbrush a little bit like this. Um, or you could use a toothpick or a swab or anything like that and just rub the paintbrush over the pollen so get as much as you can like and then you can see it if I can focus on the end of the paintbrush like that and then all you need to do is apply it to the end yeah. And obviously after you have put it onto the stigma, you can see the pollen that you just placed onto it. And then after a couple of days, the flowers will close up and obviously continue to open and die off. So you can continue pollinating as they come. And obviously once they die off, you can leave and wait for the shiny black seeds in the middle. And obviously then collect the seeds, which I will do in another video. So I'll just do one more. So this flower at the back here is also ready and if I just get some more pollen, so I'll get it from this flower this time. So like that you can see it on the end here. And then again place it into the middle. It's not really focused but you saw it the first time like that. So obviously if you're unsure that you haven't put enough pollen onto the stigmas then you could do it again and obviously transfer some more pollen onto the stigma and literally that is the simple process of that. Now all you have to do is wait, leave the flower stalks on, They, like I said the flowers will close up so if I take the camera and show you this one over here you can see that after the flowers have been pollinated they will close up like this in a couple of days and then the buds will start going black like that this one is unsuccessful they kind of swell up and you kind of know when they are um ready but like i said i haven't been pollinating these so 
most of them are unlikely to be successful but the ones I'm, that I've got left I will pollinate so I can show you how to collect seeds at the end of it but that is literally the ease of the process and that is all it is to it so hopefully this method has been useful and thank you very much for watching